Starting a product line or creating a product from scratch can be incredibly challenging. Managing manufacturing, production, materials and logistics can seem overwhelming. But have you ever thought about starting your own brand without the need for substantial wealth or tackling these daunting tasks? These kinds of brands are called as private label brands. If you are curious about this idea, you are in the right place. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patel, product evangelist at SellerApp and today I'm going to talk about how to sell private label products on Amazon in 2023. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. Imagine you didn't actually make a product, but you put your own brand name on it and sell it as yours. That's a private label product. You can choose to take something that's already being made and give it your own twist or make something totally new from the scratch. Now starting from the scratch and making a brand new thing can be pretty exciting. But it's also riskier because you can't be sure if there are people out there who want to buy it. So why many successful sellers do is they find products that are already popular and then they make them even better. So here's an example, let's say there's a product in a category, say home and kitchen accessories that people love, but they always complain about one special thing about that particular product. If you could sell your own version of that product with your own brand name and you have fixed that annoying feature that people complain about, customers will definitely want to try your product and over time they can become a loyal customer in no time. If you use the right strategy, you can grow your online business quickly and become a big player in selling all sorts of things, different products. Now let's check out a few examples of private label products that are doing really well on Amazon. Amazon Basics is a super popular private label brand from Amazon. They have been selling all sorts of essential home stuff office supplies and tech accessories since way back in 2009. They also have things for the kitchen, home improvement and even for the pets. Anchor is one of the biggest private label brands on Amazon and they actually start their brand right there on the platform. They make really good electronic accessories like chargers for phones and computers and the cool part they sell these amazing products for way less than what you would pay for Apple or Samsung stuff. Now you might be wondering if it's worth the effort to create your own products and brand. Well, if you do it the right way, there are some really good things that can make out of it and they'll definitely help you make more and more money. Make your products uniquely yours. When you sell products made by others, you often can't alter their appearance or functionality. However, when you have your own products manufactured, you gain full control over how they look and what they can do. Working closely with a manufacturer, you can customize your every detail to match your vision, ensuring your products stand out from the rest. You can even add innovative features to make them truly unique and captivating. Build your very own brand, Having your own brand is not just cool, it's also super helpful for your business. If you can make a strong brand and have great products, people will start to think about your brand when they want to buy something. So when you add more things to what you're selling, people will want to buy those too. Less competition to worry about. If you have ever sold products on Amazon, you know how tough it is to compete with others to sell your products. But if you have your own products, you are the only one selling it, just you. And if you have made something that's totally new and unique, then shoppers would come to you to get it. Chance to make better profits? When you add up all your good stuff, 
I just mentioned, it usually means you will end up making more money. Because when you make things that nobody else has, there's enough demand for the product. You can sell a bunch of them. You can even make more things with your brand and grow your business even more. So even though starting to sell your own brand of products might need more time and money at the time of start, all the good things you'll get from in the long run are totally worth it. Step one, get your market or product research right. There are lots of products you can put your own brand on, but don't just pick something you think will sell well. Choose products that have a proven track record of selling well. A mistake many Amazon sellers make is choosing the products they like instead of ones that actually sell. So make sure you avoid this mistake and go for products that people actually want to buy. In addition, they should research brands or products on Amazon and other marketplaces to understand the customer demand and the interest. When looking for potential private label products to sell on Amazon, consider these things. Firstly, high demand. Look for products that have been selling well for a while. This means there's a lot of people who want to buy them. Second, low competition. Even though making your own product reduces the competition, you still want to pick something not many others are selling. This makes it easier for you to enter the market. Good profits? Selling a lot doesn't matter if you are not making money. Choose products that you can sell for at least three times what they cost for you. Room for improvement? Don't create something that's already perfect. Instead. Choose popular products that can make even better. Next is small and light. Pick products that weigh less than 1 kg. This saves you money on shipping and Amazon's fees as well. Easy to sell. Avoid tricky products like toys, groceries or items with batteries that need certifications or paperwork. Also stay away from the products that might break easily like electronics. Simple. While selling electronics can be good, they might cause problems if they are hard to use. The same goes for clothing, which can lead to returns and exchanges. To find products that match your private labeling criteria, go to Amazon itself. Check out their bestseller, hot new releases and movers and shakers lists. This shows you what's popular and trending on the platform where you will be selling your products. Step 2 finding the right manufacturer. Now getting your hands on your own private label products can happen by dealing directly with the manufacturer. A great place to find a lots of manufacturers is Alibaba. You can also check out global sources. They are good places to start. If you're feeling a bit unsure and you are just starting out, there's a slightly easier way. Alibaba has another website called AliExpress. Here you can order just one or few of the products you're interested in without having to talk to the manufacturer directly. All you need to do is add the product you want to your online cart and pay. But just so you know, you might not get the absolute best deals this way. However, it's a good way to get the samples before you decide to buy a whole bunch. Usually when you are dealing with manufacturers directly, it's a smart idea to get in touch with around three or five of them. This gives you a way to compare them, uh, see your options and even negotiate with them. Third, sample products and negotiate on price. Now this part is super important. Getting samples from the suppliers you have picked is a big deal because your reputation as an Amazon seller is on the line. When you ask for samples, you get the chance to actually see and use the product you are thinking of using as your private label. It helps you understand how good the quality is. Just so you know, samples aren't free. You should keep this in mind. Suppliers usually charge you for them. Sometimes they'll ask for the full price of the product along with the shipping and sometimes just the shipping. They might stop charging you for samples once you start doing the business with them regularly. Many suppliers will subtract the cost of the samples from the first order if you decide to work with them. So once you have received the samples and you are happy with how they are, 
you can do some more checking look at the suppliers credentials and then start talking about the price this can feel a bit overwhelming but remember that manufacturers expect you to negotiate in addition to obtaining samples and negotiating another crucial step in your journey as an amazon private label seller is to get and give quotes from manufacturers when you reach out to potential suppliers you'll typically request a quote for the products you are interested in this quote should include details such as unit price minimum order quantity that is moq production time and any other relevant terms and conditions simultaneously manufacturers can request information about your order volume the design specifications and the desired customization providing clear and comprehensive details with the help uh, to them to generate an accurate quote for your private label products be prepared to engage in a back and forth discussion to fine tune the quote and ensure it aligns with your business objectives effective communication during this stage is a key to establishing a successful partnership with your chosen manufacturer negotiating helps you keep your costs low and your profits high however it's important to know that the lowest price might not always be the best choice unless of course the quality delivery and communication are excellent as well instead of solely prioritizing the cheapest option choose the supplier that excels in all the aspects especially the product quality and customizations assess how well they can meet your specific requirements and customize your private label products to align with your brand standards then use the lower price quotes you obtained from other suppliers to negotiate a better deal with the one you want to work with it's not just about the price it's about finding a supplier who offers an exceptional value for your investment but remember during the negotiations you should be ready to make some compromises or even a uh, walk away if needed quality and customization are paramount and building your private label brand and finding the right balance between the price and these factors are the key to your long term success you should also talk to your supplier and uh, you know about your plan to put your own brand on the products at the beginning itself add branding through the labels but professional branding during the manufacturing including the custom packaging can set you apart it may come with the added costs but it's an investment in long term success enhancing your products value and customer loyalty but all of these methods have their own costs and you should look into this while you are finding your own products next is create and design your private label logo and packaging uh, some might say this should be the first thing you do when making your private label but it actually fits better once you have an idea of the product you want to put your label on branding experts will tell you that a brand is much more than just a logo and that's true however your logo and the colors you pick are really important for your private label brand they should show up in everything you do for your business so when you know what kind of product you are going to sell you'll have a better idea of what your brand should look like not all of us are great at art stuff so you might want to get a graphic designer to help you out you can find designers on a site called upwork they can help you find an expert who can work with you on your design ideas without breaking the bank think about the part of the market you'll be in and the people you are trying to reach this way you'll get your private label design right in front from the start While many private label sellers rely on the manufacturers to handle the packaging and even the fulfillment when products are shipped directly to Amazon's warehouse, there are cases where you might want to create the custom packaging or enhance your product's branding. In such instances, the manufacturer can collaborate with you to create the design but may not be responsible in fulfilling the orders to the end customer. as the seller you would typically handle order fulfillment whether it's through the amazon fba fbm or even another method next is create a listing to sell private label products on amazon 
Once you have completed the negotiations with your supplier, ordered your branding designs and begun producing your private label product, now is the perfect time to create your Amazon listing. This way, you'll be prepared to showcase your product to over 197 million potential customers. Do some research to find the right keywords for your product title. Also make sure you have really good pictures and write down the main points you want to say about your product. Take your time when coming up with your title and the bullet points because these are super important for making sure that people find your products when you look on Amazon. Your title is like a key part of your Amazon private label product listing and the words you use should match uh, with your product uh, and what is it all about. So how well uh, your product listing is done can make or break your private label business and that's why it's so important to optimize your listing. You should do some serious research to find out which keywords are popular and make people buy your products. And guess what? There are tools to help you do this. Let me take you on the easiest Amazon keyword research journey with the Seller App Keyword Tool. On the Seller App platform, navigate to the Keyword Tool. Under this, we have two sub features. Let's look into each one of them in detail. First is Keyword Research and it will help you to find the keyword opportunities for your listings. In this, you can enter any keyword. I'm entering table. You'll see that the search results will be displayed on the screen. On the left, you'll find the relevant keywords to the entered keyword. Also, you can find tags against these keywords. They depict the current trend of these keywords on Amazon. And on the right, we have all the metrics based on which these keywords can be evaluated. Additionally, you can track the keywords where you'll be directed towards the keyword tracking. Under product intelligence feature, there you can actually analyze them better for a specific period of time. And if they are good to go, then you can add them to the advertising. Within a few clicks, you can add more relevant keywords to your advertising. You can export the data with this tab and copy paste the most relevant keywords list into a new sheet in Excel spreadsheet. I have been interacting with many Amazon sellers lately and they have this very complaint that whenever a customer searches for a keyword relevant to the product, the competitor's listings appear to be at the top. And this is kind of frustrating because after putting in so many efforts, your competitors are ranking at the top of the Amazon search. Now imagine how cool would it be if you could actually understand the keyword strategies of your competitors and accordingly imbibe them into your listing. Interesting, right? And that is where the reverse ASIN tool comes into picture. Here you can compare your ASIN with your competitors ASIN. I have added two ASINs and now click on compare. The best part about this tool is at a time you can compare your ASIN with three other competitors ASINs. You'll see that the search results are already displayed on the screen. On the left, you'll find the keywords which are present in your ASIN as well as your competitors ASIN. And on the right, we can see the metrics used to evaluate the keywords. Now this is your ASIN and this is your competitor's ASIN. Now I'm going to sort this column of estimated orders per month. If you consider this example, this search term has good estimated orders per month and good conversion rate, but it's present in your competitor's ASIN and not in your ASIN. This can be that keyword which is helping them to rank at the top of the Amazon search. You can directly add them to advertising or if you uh, can track all the keywords where you'll be directed towards the keyword targeting under a product intelligence feature. There you can actually analyze them for a specific period of time and if they are worth it, then add them to your advertising. So this is how convenient this tool is to use. Within a few clicks, you can actually understand the keyword strategies your competitors are using and accordingly use them into your product title, the description and the bullet points to enhance your product's visibility when shoppers search with related keywords. 
Optimizing the product listing and strategically using the relevant keywords can increase your chances of attracting the potential customers and driving more sales. When you're writing your title and points, put your keywords in order of how important they are with the most important ones first. These are the words that best describe your product. For example, if you're selling brown leather dog leashes, so a brown leather dog leash would be a top keyword. After that, put any other keyword that you want your product to be found for. Your bullet points should also match your keywords. Keep them short and talk about the best things your product offers. The pictures should be clear, relevant and show your product from lots of angles. Doing all of this will help your customers decide to buy your product. Step 6 is fulfill your Amazon private label product orders using the Amazon FBA and FBM. When your product starts selling, it's time to manage the orders. You can do this by yourself, but since you are selling your private label items on Amazon, the easiest and most efficient way is to use their fulfillment service called Amazon FBA. Here's how it works. You send your products to uh, one of Amazon's warehouses. They store your items, get them ready when orders come in, and then they ship them out to your customers. The Amazon also takes care of returns, refunds, and even the customer service. This saves you time and makes selling your private label products hassle-free. On the other hand, if you prefer to handle the fulfillment yourself, you can opt for FBM. This means you can manage the storage, packaging and shipping of your products directly. It gives you more control but also requires more effort on your part. Whether you choose FBA or FBM, it's important to work closely with your manufacturer to ensure a smooth uh, supply chain and consistent product quality throughout your Amazon journey. Step 7. Launch your product. Finally, the last step, launching your product on Amazon and getting it ready to make your Amazon sales. But hold on, it's not as easy as just making a listing and waiting for people to buy. You need a smart product launch and promotion plan to create initial awareness about your product and to attract visitors who will actually make the purchases. So here are some strategies to promote your product. Use Amazon PPC ads. You can use Amazon's advertising system to show your product's ads where they matter. Run ads on Instagram or Google because a lot of Gen Z shoppers use social media like Instagram. Try placing ads there to bring more people from outside to your Amazon listing. Try influencer marketing. Partner with micro influencers to promote your products to their followers. Now this can be really effective for building awareness and getting more and more sales. Launch a giveaway or a lightning deal. Offer your product for free or at a lower price for a short time to create excitement and attract more buyers. We have published a detailed guide video on the Amazon product launch strategies. Please find the link in the description below. Now selling your private label products on Amazon doesn't actually require any specialized training. All you need is some good research skills that ability of negotiation and the determination to succeed now with this you could soon be growing your amazon private label business and building the customer loyalty to your unique brand here at Cellwrap, we know how important it is to have a well-rounded advertising strategy that brings long-term growth and roi a team of skilled PPC experts and AI-powered PPC management tools has helped more than 20,000 brands, including big names like Philips, Samsung, achieve substantial profit growth. If you need help starting your private label business, you can always reach out to us at support at And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Salarad. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. 
and don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling!